Dorky daddies. How y'all doing? Woo! Is that my birthday? Like this week is better than Christmas. We got a brand new version of DaVinci Resolve and we got Final Cut Pro 11. Ah! <laughs> new version of DaVinci has some really cool stuff too, which again, maybe we'll make another video, but today I've got to test it. We finally got it. The headline feature in Final Cut Pro 11 is this magnetic mask, which as far as I can tell by all preview little videos that I've watched, it's just like the magic mask. It's what we've been asking for. It's the AI rotoscoping feature built into Final Cut Pro, not a plugin, not an extra cost built into the software. And today, I'm, I'm just so pumped. I got to try it. I got to know how does it feel versus, you know, my other love, DaVinci Resolve and Magic Mask. I've got three quick little sample clips that I shot here. We're going to test it in Final Cut Pro, and then we'll compare that to DaVinci Resolve and just kind of see how we're feeling about this. So let's start a screen recording and let's get into it. Sync that audio. All right, so we got three clips. One of me just sort of head bobbing in the shed. One of me holding my Star Wars coffee mug. And one of my Stormtrooper Lego helmet set. A little bit of a, you know, we, I think this will be a hard one. We'll see. We are going to, I haven't used this before, so I think it's in masks and keying. Yep, there it is. Magnetic mask. Ooh, I like the little colors on the icon. That's nice. So I think I just drag this onto the clip. Okay. Yep. So now, oh, I get a little, I get a little dropper here. Okay. So let me click on me. I added a point that looks nice. Can I add another point? Ooh. And is it like, um, like photo, photo editing software? If I hit option, yep. I can add mine. Okay. So I can hit minus points around me to be like, yo, don't do that. Oh, and then just like the uh, tracking features that you just hit analyze, it looks like. Yeah, let's let's hit analyze. Let's see what this does. Holy what? It's fast. First of all, it's fast. Holy shit, it's good too. Look at that, it's getting my hair. Miss my hair there. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, now I think we need to hit done. Oh, look at the, look at the performance. Look at the playback. I'm on battery. I do have it on better performance. So what if we did better quality? Oh, it's still super good. This is an HD clip. This isn't 4K, but holy crap, holy. No green screen. Look how good that is. That was fast. That that seemed way faster than what we're going to get in Magic Mask uh, or in Resolve. We'll compare that, but that was sweet. Okay, let's try the next one. Like, like almost zero complaints. Looks really good. The cutout is great. You can, okay, you can adjust the feather up here, which, okay, you can make it. Wow, you could pinch it in. Wow, that's cool. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Okay, let's try it again. I'm going to put it on this arm one. I'm going to do the cup, my arm. Okay, so initially sucking pretty hard on what to select here. But if we do the minus points and I get this all squared away here, just add a whole bunch of minus points around this. I love the dots, the green and red dots. That's awesome. Let's analyze. God damn, it's fast. Holy crap, it is fast. This is, this looks great. Goes back. I mean, again, I, I haven't seen the final result yet, but this looks like it's doing a fantastic job. Holy cow. Okay, let's hit done. How does it look? Ah, oh, the performance is unreal. Get out of, what? Come on. This is so incredible. Oh, this is fun. This is fun and it works. And playback is smooth. I'm not, I'm not render caching anything. This is real time playback. You gotta do the analyze, but then, wow, 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 wow. Okay, last clip is my Stormtrooper. I mean, again, this feels like we're just crushing it here. Let's make sure 
we get the whole thing and we kind of click around this. Okay, sure, that looks good. Hit analyze. I, I'm moving in, I'm increasing the scale on this one, but holy cow. Again, the speed is, it's really fast. A little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a hiccup there with the little, with the background, but wow. Golly, what? Look at that mask. Look at that rotoscope. It's got some flicker. It's got, you know, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but this is, wow. This is, this is really something. I'm speechless. This is incredible. This is incredible. Before we even open up Resolve, initial impressions, it feels so much snappier. It's way easier to do than it is in DaVinci, which we'll show here in a second. I mean, this seems like better in every way than Magic Mask, and you don't have to render cache it to get real-time playback, which is also crazy. This is, wow. Final cut, final cut, final, final cut. Final cut, final cut, final cut. Coming from behind and just proving me wrong. I love it. I was, I, I would not have seen this coming. This is sick. Okay, now we gotta try this in DaVinci Resolve just to compare. It's been a minute since I've done a magic mask. Let's see how this feels. All right, let's throw these clips down in the timeline. Um, again, we're gonna go into fusion. This whole thing is much more complicated magic mask like this is not as easy of a process we're going to draw on me let's see how we're doing here yeah that was pretty quick uh we'll do faster mode and let's just see how this goes okay eh, tracking's pretty it's looking pretty reasonable it's doing about What's the, f yeah, it's not quite real time. What does it say down at the bottom? It's doing about 11 frames a second is what it's telling me. That's, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm not too mad about that. It still feels like it might be a little bit slower. I didn't stop watch it, but I don't know in general. I mean, the fact that I got to go into fusion makes it feel longer. Now without render caching, can I get real-time playback and, oh yeah, okay, actually I can. So on an HD clip, I can get real-time playback. Oh, a little bit of a skip there. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. Quality seems pretty comparable in terms of, let's make sure we've got full, let's just do one screen here. Yeah, I don't know, honestly, I th like right there with that background and the leak on the side, Final Cut I feel like did that quite a bit better. What? <laughs> what? Okay, let's do the coffee cup, the coffee cup clip, clip, coffee cup clip. I wanna see if this is similar. Okay, that lassoed it pretty quick. And no, that lat looks much worse. Pinky is struggling there. Look at that, we don't even have the handle. Looks worse, definitely looks worse. Maybe if I was doing better, it would look better, but I don't know. Overall, that just doesn't feel like quite as clean of a rotoscope. And now we're getting some of the handle. Yeah, see, we were getting it. Now we're not. It's really not sure what to do with the handle here. And again, if I bring this in here and I play it back, we are getting real-time playback. Again, though, quality-wise, I feel like Final Cuts looked better. Okay, and last but not least, the Stormtrooper clip. Let's hit it with the hard one and see how it does here. Um, again, we're painting in the Stormtrooper. We're painting in the base. Okay, looks like it snagged that pretty easily. Let's see how it does. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's getting the base quite as good in general. Um, does look pretty warbly on the edges for sure speed still seems nice though um again maybe if i was doing the better option we'd get a better result here but i don't know i'm i'm imp it seems like final cut is like moving at the speed of the da vinci faster option but is giving a better a better result here 
Um, and again, playback is looking really, really good. Yeah, that just, I don't think that looks as nice as what we were getting in Final Cut. I am so, what? I'm so, I'm so baffled right now. I'm this so, is, what? What? This is crazy. This is crazy. I cannot believe this. I, okay. So we've, we've done my tests again. This is just editor Jake hitting you guys with my opinions on what I'm seeing here. Obviously I need to do a lot more tests, but this is the night of, it came out right now, you know, disqualifier, 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 whatever. I've used magic mask a lot. I tested it again right here. Initial impressions are very hot on final cut. This new magnetic mask looks better seems to perform better like in general this just seems like a better tool for ai rotoscoping or whatever we want to call it i am so impressed i'm so impressed i i i didn't know what to expect i mean i didn't even think we'd get a feature like this in final cut and it's this good <sighs> Final Cut, you're proving me wrong. I thought you were just dying your slow death and you're coming in with some zingers. Like, it's very apple -y. They're taking forever to do this stuff, but then when they do it, it's incredible. The, the AI slow motion stuff is so much better than what you get in Resolve. The AI rotoscoping is so much better. Like, ah, wow, ah, wow, wow, you got me. You got me, Apple. I'm, I'm flummoxed, flabbergasted right now. I'm sure we'll dive into this more in future videos, guys, but initial impressions, this is so good. Final Cut, absolutely crush you with this. Great job, guys. Um, I can't wait to play with this more. So anyway, I'm gonna call it right there. You guys are the best. Um, I'm gonna get back to editing and I will see you in the next video. Stay dorky.